All right, folks, this just in from Sound and Vision, 2017, June. My favorite Gemini month. Let's take a peek here. This is just in. This magazine just arrived yesterday in the mailbox. And we're going to talk about simply, you know, what's new in the audiophile hi-fi world. Now let's get started here, folks. Okay, it looks like, to begin with, we've got Sling Media has stopped making Slim Box units. Raising questions about its future in standalone devices, the Dish Network-owned technology may continue as a future build into apps and devices like Dish Hopper DVR. Well, Sling Media, I've, I haven't used much, so I can't say much about that, but here we are glad to announce that Sony has adopted Dolby Vision. All right, so my Sony XBR 850C 55-inch 4K television will be available for that upgrade soon. High dynamic range video technology along with HDR10 in three 2017 Bravia OLED models and three LCD models. Screen size range from 55 to 77 inches. That's great news, guys. That's why I highly recommended the Bravia series or Triluminous XBR series from Sony. Um, those 4K televisions are amazing. And of course, yep, Sony is going to do the uh, Dolby Vision upgrade. Okay. LG adopted the same thing. In all 2017 models, having already offered it in several 2016 models, along with HDR10, screen size range from 65 to 77. That's the only downside to LG adopting the Sony Vision is they only do it from 65 to 77 inches. So you, have, you, you would have had to have spent a pretty penny on an LG TV to get this Dolby Vision upgrade. So I'm glad I went with my Sony. All right, Amazon Fire TV interface is being built in the ultra-high-definition sets from Element, Seeky, and Westinghouse in sizes from 32 to 65 inches. Alexa, turn on the TV. <laughs> so that, that's good, guys. You don't have to buy a Fire Stick anymore, owners of those TVs, but I would never buy those brands of TVs anyway. All right, Hire is switching from Roku to Google Chromecast as the streaming platform for its TV line. Well, look for models from 43 to 75 inches, coming soon. All right, folks, let's look at this real quick. Vizio and Google Home have teamed up to allow the latter's voice commands to control the former SmartCast video and audio products. Tap the Cast button within the Netflix or YouTube apps and stream to any SmartCast TV or access music from Google Play, Music Pandora, or Spotify, uh -huh, on any SoundCast, soundbar, or speaker. Well, that, that's good news. All right, OLED pricing has dropped. To as little as 1800 bucks for an LG model during last year's Black Friday. Could this be the year you spring for one? You know, I have to be honest, guys. I have worked in the uh, retail business prior to uh, graduating college and stuff, and I do know uh, this for a fact. Black Friday and things like uh, the day after Christmas sales and stuff like that, um, those televisions that are on sale that you see, they're actually produced and manufactured specifically for those days uh, with that price point in mind. So they're actually using a little bit different parts in those television models than the ones that you would buy, say, a day prior to that. Um, so yeah, basically you're getting a crap deal when you're buying a television on Black Friday or any time around that, because they're, they're, they're specifically manufactured for that day, folks. All right, voice on demand was a bright spot in the Digital Entertainment Group's 2016 Home Entertainment Report, up 26% in the fourth quarter of 2016. Streaming was up 2.78%, sell through flat. Blu-ray ended 2016 with 110 Ultra HD titles and unit sales of 300,000. Yeah, guys, three times the original HD Blu-ray format in its first year. Another 250 titles are expected by year-end. That's good. Alter HD consensus oh hasn't reached most Americans, says U government survey, with only 17% being com yeah. Conversant on the technology, however, among millennials, the figure jumps to 30%. Um, that's what I have to say, folks. I have to say millennials have um, something that, you know, releases more dopamine, serotonin, norepinephrine in their brain when they see visual effects uh, and brighter, you know, colors. So I would have to say that that's, that, that makes sense to me. Um, when you, you know, if you release dopamine more or less by bright visual colors and <clears throat> high definition, you know, screens and and large refresh rates and stuff, um, yeah, it's going to be the millennials that really jump with this, and the other people, um, baby boomers and Generation X, are going to more or less say, you know, I, I'm going to wait on the whole 4K and Ultra HD you know, consensus and all that, you know, um, consciousness, you know, <laughs> I mean, they're not conscious of more or less 8K and 10K, so what does it matter to most people? But yeah, that's how I feel the same. Okay. 
streaming video alliance is testing an open catching network you know, architecture that would operate inside the network but close to the consumer. If it works, it would improve video streaming while reducing the burden on the network. Can't speak much to that, guys, but that'll be good for people who are doing open catching network architecture, you know, who are streaming all the time and have cut the cable cord because, well, it's going to be able to do it faster for cheaper money, so, you know, for less money. Pirated video content is viewed by 32% of respondents oh, to an irredentable study, and 39% say that they don't care if it hurts the studios. I really don't care if it hurts the studios either, Rick, because I don't watch pirated content, so it doesn't matter to me. The head scratcher is the 31% who believe pirating is legal. <laughs> that makes sense. PlayStation 4 will support 360-degree YouTube videos with a firmware upgrade. It's the gaming platform's latest virtual reality move. Oh, I'm, glad, I'm glad I got the PlayStation 4 then in time when it dropped in price recently when the, play, in the PS4 Pro came out. I'm going to be able to do YouTube videos in 360-degree now. <laughs> so you'll be able to see my whole setup, guys, in 360-degree videos soon. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you'll be able to, like, panoramic view the whole thing. Um, okay, so I'm going to have to stop here and do another video on the next stuff, guys, and we'll be back. Thank you.